Aloha, I am the Great Clement. Now tell me if you've ever heard of this movie. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation... Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah! They forgot one small thing. Have yourself... I've a terrible feeling. Christmas. Did you lock up? Let yeah. yourself be light. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm-hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Our troubles will be ours. Kevin! Ah! Home Alone. <laughs> Yes, Home Alone. That good old story about the boy who got stranded at home while some burglars tried to break in and, you know, steal all of his stuff. But he was so smart and so creative, he managed to scare all of them away with traps and gimmicks and all sorts of crazy contraptions. Well, as it turns out, that seems to be a good idea for a video game, now doesn't it? Well, no, not really. The Sega Genesis version of Home Alone? Kind of lame. The Nintendo version of Home Alone, even lamer. And I know a lot of people rag on Home Alone 2, even though I don't have that much of a problem with it. But still, Home Alone 2 for NES and Super Nintendo also got a lot of flack when it came out as well. But one game I had when I was a child was Home Alone on the Super Nintendo. And unlike the NES and Sega Genesis versions, it's not about carefully laying traps and making all these blueprints and stuff that bogged the game down and made it really unenjoyable to play. This was a platform game where you had to collect all the loot in the house and secure them to a safe place. And trust me, I had a lot of fun with it when I was a kid. Well, since Christmas is coming up, I figured what better game to relive than Home Alone. I played it when I was a kid, and I'm going to play it much, much later in life. Great to be out of the slammer, Harry. You said it, Marv. Did you round up the gang? Are we ready? Gang? I fixed everything! What about the brat? Is he home alone? Haha, <laughs> pun. Not for long! Ha <laughs> ha! I've been waiting a long time for this. All that stuff. Jewels, VCRs, TVs. And toys! I want that kid's toys! Okay, okay, but first we grab their gold, jewels, and silver. Enough gabbing! Let's do it! Let's get moving! Sorry. Sonic the Hedgehog joke. Anyway, this is Kevin McAllister, the Macaulay Culkin character who uh, is stranded all by his lonesome. I have to pick up silverware. Oh wait, first! See that banana peel I just knocked over? Enemies will run for jewelry if they see it. And I just tripped him. <laughs> Lame. But anyway, I'm supposed to collect all the jewelry in the house, and that's like trophies, uh, rings, uh, just all the shiny things, really. And now you see how my bag on the top right corner, that's how much stuff I'm carrying. When it gets to six in this level, the number starts growing, and then I'm, that means I'm full. I can't carry any more jewelry. So when I have too much jewelry, I have to dump it all into the basement. I can only carry six items at a time, and I'm supposed to dump... Right now, I need to dump 18 things in the basement, and then I can run down there and finish the level. Blah. There's a lot of setup and explanation, isn't it? The safe in the top right corner shows how much I need to get in there. I need 18. The bag shows how much I have on on me right now. I have five on me. Now I have six. And with that six, I'm full. My number's flashing. I can't pick up any more jewelry, even if I want to. So I go back to the hole. I dump them all down. Booyah! Rinse and repeat. I gotta find more jewelry around the house. It's basically that simple. Kevin is holding a water pistol in his hands, and it has unlimited water, which is uh, good, but I don't know where he's getting this water from. I don't want to know, quite frankly. When you get to beds and couches, you can bounce on them just by jumping on them. It's kind of fun. I mean, when I was a kid, it was fun. When I'm a video game character, not so much. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's a fun game. I like this game a lot. You can stun the enemies by squirting them with a few drips of water, but you're never going to kill them. You're just, you're just going to stun them and make them go, Ooh! And uh, when I actually do kill some enemies around here, it's the most hilarious thing ever. They most, they have, oh, here it comes. Here's Marv, you know him from the movie, played by Joe Pesci. I could wet him all day and he'll just go, ooh, ooh. But I also have other weapons that I can use. I have a slingshot, and uh... I don't know if I'm going to use it here. No, I didn't use it here. I'll use it on somebody, though. 
Oh, see how I can't pick up that money bag? It's because my bag is full. So I go to find a hole. Hey, a convenient hole. <laughs> and I dump all the stuff in there. It's pretty straightforward. Now I have to find six more things and then I can clear the level. If you notice when I went downstairs, there was a gold door I passed by. That's the basement door. Once you have gotten all the pieces that you need to get in the basement, then um, the there's going to be a key that appears right near the basement door. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did you hear that? I hope you did. I just killed that goon with a slingshot, and he makes... And all the enemies die the same way. They have this really lame voiceover where they go, Bleh! Bleh! You kill a guy, Bleh! It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. I got all the loot down there! In your face, criminals! So now I gotta run all the way to the golden door at the staircase. It's, the golden door is always at the staircase. There's always two floors in each level. I don't know how big this house is, but it's fucking huge, apparently. So anyway, in the basement, you have to dodge um, creatures that aren't robbers. And uh, in this level, I'm dodging mice and bats. Oh god! Mice and bats. I've never seen that in a video game before. Never. Never. So, you have to jump uh, over the mice and jump over the bats. And, uh... It's pretty straightforward. Once you reach the end, he goes does a little spin move. All the things get in the safe somehow. And he wins. Alright! Kevin comes through a winner! Those guys are pushovers and... Uh-oh. Better hurry to the next wing! Yes, we're at level 2. Already! This game's moving so fast for my commentary. I can't really explain everything that's happening on the screen. But we're in level 2 and now the burglars are after toys. Because they're crazy. Hey, there's Marv. Oh wait, did I call Joe Pesci's character Marv earlier? He was Harry, I'm sorry. This is Marv. He was played by Daniel Stern in the movie. Now, not, not, not people many notice this, but on top of that the toy soldier is a paint can. Wait for uh, Marv to, to wait under you, and then jump up, and the paint can will knock him down. The AI is pretty stupid in that all it does, it goes to where you are. So if you're high above a ledge, he'll just stay right under you, and he'll never, like, jump at you or anything. He'll just stay in this walking space. And when we get to the second floor, you're gonna see the most hilarious death ever involving tax and how stupid the AI is, but we'll get to that later. Uh, a lot of people will notice that I'm magically pulling diamonds and shit out of walls. Like, I'll be jumping at paintings, and then all of a sudden, like, something will fly out of it. In reality, when I'm playing the game, I'm holding the up button to make that happen. You have to hold up all the time, because... If you just jump at the painting, nothing's going to happen. But if you hold up, then uh, it's going to come out. And there are literally items hanging everywhere. They could be in a mirror. Oh, see? I just got a cookie out of that mirror. They could be anywhere. They could be in anything that, is, that isn't, that is you know, part of the wall. I'm sorry, anything that isn't the wall. It's probably an item. And there's a creepy stalker Marv. When he sees you knock that toy down, he jumps down, but otherwise he'll stay up there for the rest of the game. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess he thinks he's Batman. I'm Batman. That fucker threw a baseball at my face! Oh yeah, and this is the video game, and uh, I don't remember these guys from the movie, but basically... Oh, see that? Marv tried to grab the toy car. Son of a bitch. Oh, my bag is full. When your bag is full, you're best to find a hole and not, you know, go into buildings, go into rooms and stuff. Here I'm going to test out and see if I can kill Marv, but surprisingly, he has huge health. Die. Fuck! And I just wasted all my items. <laughs> see? That's all he does. He just stays on the top for no reason. God damn it, Marv. You're not Batman. But anyway, back to what I was saying earlier, just uh, press up all the time when you're uh, looking for items. In fact, hold up while you're running. You might magically, like, pull items from out of nowhere, and you'll be surprised at what you'll find. There are more than enough items in every level. You'll find plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I don't even look in every room in this game. That's how much... that's how many items there are. Hey. And this game is uh, short as well. I'm gonna beat this in under a half hour. Sorry! That's it for part one. I'll see you in part two.